Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we are working on the question number 92 on lead code which is called reverse linked list 2. If you, if you have watched my previous video you are already familiar with the process of reversing a linked list. So without further ado let's move to a more complicated problem. Alright, so as we can see here we've got question number 92 reverse linked list number 2. And the question states, given the head of a single linked list, so all the links point to the, same, to the same direction and two ints left and right reverse the nodes between these two integers. I would like to let you know that there is a constraint in the problem which is left is less than or equal to right. Alright, so let's see the test case number one. For this test case I will assume that uh, the left is that node and the right represents this node. Okay, and the question states that we need to reverse the nodes between these two integers. Sweet. So, as you can imagine, the result will be 10, 50, 40, 30, 20, 60. Alright, how are we going to proceed? First of all, uh, I would like to divide this problem into different sections and for the first section uh, what I'm going to do is to use the classic two pointer approach. I'm going to have one pointer pointing to, to the null position and I'm going to call this pointer previous. Sorry for my handwriting. And I'm going to have a second pointer which is called current which will be called current pointer and is going to point to the head of the link list. Sweet. And what am I going to do? I'm going to iterate through that linked list and uh, just move the current pointer to the position left. So for this example, for example, we are going, let's change the color to red, we are going to have previous here and current here when the loop finishes. Sweet. And that's the first section of the, of the problem. So now uh, what we need to do is we need to iterate. Uh, we need to, which color is that? It's a blue one. We need to iterate from here all the way to the position right of the linked list and delete these links and create new links which are going to point to the previous. Uh, for that example, I'm going to point that initially to null, and that is going to point here like that, the 40 is going to point to 30, and the 50 is going to point to 40. All right, and for the last section of the problem, what we need to do is to uh, rearrange a few pointers from here and there. So as you can see, um, let's get the green one. That section of the linked list at the moment is not connected uh, with the entire linked list. So what we need to do is, firstly, we need to. Where am I? Yeah. Uh, firstly, we need to actually get this pointer, delete that, and move that here, all right, and that null should be replaced with the element which is next to the one to the, left, to the right. And on this way, we will get the correct result, which is going to be 10, 50, etc, etc, 60. Sweet. So, that's the first test case. That, I would say that this is the simple test case, because uh, the section between left and right is not either to the head nor to the end of the link list. So we, ha we have to consider also 
the situation where we are going to have a second test case, for example, and the left is going to start here, for example, and end here. So as you can see here, it's going to be a bit more complicated because now the section that we need to reverse is not connected from here from the left side to any pointer. I know that some people uh, handle uh, that with a dummy or null pointer. I'm not going to do it on this way because I don't want to instantiate a new list node class. What I'm going to do is just handle that with an if statement. All right, sweet. So let's move to the code now. I hope that is going to be way more complicated when we start typing the code. Sweet. So let's go up to the first test case. What have we? What do we have here? So we said that the, for the first part, we need to create these two pointers, and we need to move the current pointer to the node in the in position left. Super. So I'm, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to say uh, not let sorry let previous. Uh, I'm going to, set to call it lower because we are in the lower side, and that is going to be equal to null. And now we are going to have the current lower, which is going to point to the head of the linked list. All right. So now we need to iterate. And for that, for this reason, I'm going to have a counter or an index, start from one, not from zero. And I'm going to say while there is a current element and the index is less than, uh, not left, left guys, we are working on the first section now. Uh, so we just need to update our pointers. And in order to do that, we are going to say that the previous lower is going to be equal to the current lower and we need just to move the current lower one position to the right and it's going to happen like that sweet and because we have that index here which depends on our condition we just need to increment it all right so after the end of this loop as you can imagine, the current lower will point to the left and the previous lower is going to point to the node left to the left, if that makes sense. All right, let's go back to the drawing now. Sweet. So now what we need to do is move to the green section, as you can see here. So we are going to iterate from that position, the left position, all the way to the right position and uh, reverse the links. In order to do that though, if we just work with these variables, we are going to lose um, the order. We need the values of these variables. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create pseudo variables which are going to be the stored previous lower I'm just doing that in order to store the value of the previous lower and all the others and all the other variables. And that's uh, let's call it stored current lower. That's not camel case mate. All right, and that's current lower. Sweet. And now what we need to do is uh, we need to create a new previous pointer which is not super important but I think because we can use directly that one uh, but I think it's better to do it on this way and also I'm going to create a temporary pointer because I will need that in the next while loop. so now we said that we have to iterate over the green area and the green area is the section between the left and right Sweet. So in order to do that, we are going to say as well, if there is a current uh, lower and the index is less than the right, less than one equal, sorry, then 
the first thing that we need to do is store the temporary in the temporary pointer the value of the current lower dot next and afterwards we are going to say that the current lower dot next is going to be equal to the previous pointer so with that part of the code what we have created is that area sweet because we are in the first iteration of course uh, okay so now the previous pointer is going to be equal to the current lower and the current lower is going to be equal to the temporary pointer and at the end of this loop we just need to increment the index again so now we have the entire green area and we have created and we have reverse uh, the links like that super so now we need to create that link here and this link here and of course just return the head of the loop however if you remember we said that we've got also that scenario and in order to do that we are going to create our if statement after the while loop so what i'm going to say is that if there is value in the stored previous lower then what we need to do is set the store previous lower dot next to be equal to the previous pointer and that's all pretty much after that we need the store cu current lower dot next to be equal to the current lower and uh, in the end we need to say if there is a stored previous lower then return the head otherwise return the previous pointer okay sweet let's run the code guys now all right and if we submit that That's all for today guys, if you liked this video remember give that a thumbs up, share it with your friends and remember I have included my repository with a solution of that exercise in the description. So go there and if you like the report give that a star as well. Thank you very much, catch you in the next one.